So you're ready to make some cards, but you're not quite sure how to use the deck editor. Let me show you some tips and tricks. So here in my projects, I'm going to open up a project that I've been working on and I've got some cards here. And so my cards are here and my tables here, and this is all the data that goes onto the cards. So yeah, again, if I type here, it's going to appear right there on the card. Now, just one thing to note, each of the cards is a different row. So if I click down here, we've set it up so that it automatically selects the last card zone that you had previously. So say if you just want to go along here and change all the titles, you just click down these cells like this. Um, whereas if you wanted to, if we go back to the first card here, alternate, if you want to go across all the zones on the card, you go this way and you can see here, I'm selecting the different zones on the card ready to edit. Um, so just a few things to point out here. Um, if you're in a image zone, so this is the image zone of this card. This is where the main image goes in this cell here. You've got a image box, so you can use this and just select a different image there. And again, if you want to change these, it's very simple to just go down the list and replace these images here um, with new ones. So that's the whole idea here is to get, um, yeah, your prototype ID to the table as quickly as possible. So you just want to make it really smooth for that to happen. Um, another little thing to note is that if you wanted to, you can adjust images um, just individually here. So this mouse is a pretty good size. This ogre, for example, is a little bit too big on the card. Um, you might think you might be happy with him or you might think, oh, he's, he's crowding that space a little bit. So you can click this image adjustment icon and you can just like turn his size down a little. So he starts on hundred by default um, and he just goes down a little. So say if I want to take him down to 86 and you can, you know, adjust his, his vertical position there and his horizontal position too. So you can just nudge cards a little bit if you want to. Um, Obviously, I'd recommend getting the zone the correct size, but if sometimes you need to nudge images just a little bit to make them work. Now, you'll notice here that when we did that to the ogre card, when we changed some things, we actually got a comma and then these numbers after. This first one is 55. That's the X position, so the horizontal position. So if I set this to 50, he'll be in the middle. Think of it like 50%. He's like halfway. And if I set this next one, this is Y, oh, oh my goodness, what did I just do? This next number here after the next comma is the Y. So that's the vertical position up and down. If I set that to 50, he'll be in the middle as well. So 50, 50 is actually centered. So that's usually what you want. Um, and then this 86 is the zoom level. So if I change that 86 to 60, it's smaller there. So say if you were coming, you could just, you know, copy these, that same, um, these same parameters here is what they're called. So if I did that there, end up the same. Yeah, he'll end up the same. Um, so yeah, so that's what's going on behind the scenes, but obviously it's a lot nicer to use this little adjusty thing here. What else to show you? Okay. So descriptions here. Oh yeah. So what's going on up here? We've got this, this is a handy one, the zoom in function. So if I want to see the cards at a bit of a higher size. Now let's go to a particular card and let's do something with it. So say this knight or really he's a, he's some kind of monk dude at the moment, maybe his ability, we want to put an icon in there. So if I click here, I've got, you know, the normal, you know, maybe he can, can cast some kind of range spell of confusion or something like this. Um, and maybe I want a, symbol for range. So I can just put my cursor there where I want the icon to go and click this one here. So that's an, in, this is now an in-text um, icon. So this is a special kind of thing. So say if I want range, I can click that there and you'll see there, if I zoom in a little, we've got that nice little icon there. Um, and that has inserted, if you look here, it's actually inserted this, um, curly bracket, then the name of an image, and then the closing curly bracket. So if you wanted multiple ones, it's as simple as selecting that. I mean, you could insert it the other way as well, but you could just do that to get multiple inline images there. 
Um, there's ways you can adjust the size of these two. So say if you want um, that one to be bigger, again, if you go to the end of the image path there, so I've just got my mouse just after PNG, I'm going to go comma. And at the moment, it's size one. So that's like basically the same size as your text. But say if I wanted it to be a bit bigger, I could say two, that will be quite big and chunky. Or, you know, if I wanted to be a bit more specific, I could go 1.3, and then that's just a little bit bigger. 1.5 is kind of nice. Um, yeah, so you can do that, and you can adjust the height position um, by going another comma. And how does this work? I think it's at one automatically. Yeah, so two will be way up there. One, oh, it must be at zero. Is this at zero? Yeah, it's at zero. Okay. So if I go one, that's like the next level up in the line of the text. If I go minus one, it'll be down. So you can adjust the, the height there. Um, we don't really currently adjust the sideways positioning just because it's in the flow of the text automatically anyway.